It's been a long time that I've avoided filming this video, because clipping a bird's nails is never a pretty sight. And with that being said, you should always take your bird to a vet for nail clipping, since the process can be quite dangerous. It takes your bird to lose about 12 drops of blood before it starts dying. But if you really have no choice, you can carefully do it from home. Before you start clipping your bird's nails, make sure to prepare some cornstarch nearby in case your bird does start bleeding. If you cut the vein, the best way to stop the bleeding is to dip the nail in dry cornstarch for a few seconds. The perfect time to clip your bird's nails is in the evening when it's sleepy. Start with restraining your bird using a towel and make sure your bird has space for breathing and that you're not squeezing it. It's also super important to have someone help you as you can't really do it on your own without risking your bird's life. One can hold it and the other can trim the nails. To start cutting your bird's nails, you'll need either a human nail clipper or a pet nail clipper, like the ones I'm using. But never use regular scissors or something else. The most important part before cutting your bird's nails is to identify the vein. So you can just hold your bird's foot up to the light and that way you can easily see its veins. No matter how long your bird's nails are, you want to cut only the short point on the edge of each nail. If your bird's nails are dark and you can't see the vein, you can use a nail filer just to file the nail and prevent snipping your bird's veins. But I really don't recommend cutting it from home, because when you can't see it, you can easily miss it. Your bird might start wiggling and squeezing its foot, which makes it harder for you to stay still. But it's important that you take your time and have a good grip before each cut. After you're done with the clipping, just let your bird back into its cage and offer it a treat from your hand, to make up with it because you obviously made it go through such a stressful situation. Many bird owners think that sandpaper perches will prevent their bird's nails from overgrowing while it's actually not effective at all, and can even do more harm than good by peeling the healthy layers of your bird's skin. So I recommend on just having thick and natural wood perches to maintain your bird's nails, and every once in a while to take your bird to nail trimming at the vets, or of course, do so carefully from home.